in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence that's a tagline on this platform and earlier today i was having a lunch somewhere in milimani here in kisumu bilia and uh, i met a friend there and he was with the wife and <laughs> when the wife saw me she started laughing <laughs> and when i asked she was actually laughing at that tagline and let me repeat here that in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence everything in politics is normally well planned well scripted and executed to achieve a specific political objective earlier today moses kuria was trending on twitter at number 1 for the better part of the day i've checked twitter now i think it's currently at number 4 but why was moses kuria trending at number 1 on twitter moses kuria was trending because relo dinga junior shared a photo he took in dubai with moses kuria and relo junior shared series of tweets relo junior shared series of tweets and the first tweet he posted as at now it's around uh, 5:30 pm which was 8 hours ago Ray Junior posted a photo of himself with the gentleman there no no the gentleman and he's saying can Kowi investment group about to take off so I want to assume that is his company and later one hour later this is what Ray Junior posted and this is basically what made Moses Kuria to trend. Relo Junior is saying good to bump into my brother honorable Moses Kuria in Dubai and I am happy to witness his recovery. I have asked him to join the winning team Azimio to peleke Kenya mbayale pamoja. Now this tweet is what made Moses Kuria trend. And because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence there is an objective which this particular post was supposed to achieve. Then 3 hours later Rela Junior shared another photo a selfie he took with the father Baba Raila Odinga. So he's saying message passed to Raila kweni chonjo So basically he has passed the message of him meeting with Moses Kuria and remember Raila Junior is saying he bumped onto Moses Kuria What is Moses Kuria doing in Dubai Moses Kuria is actually in hospital in Dubai And why was this photo trending This photo was trending because President Ruto Kenyatta is currently in Dubai And later on other photos also of Moses Kuria with uh, Mutai Kagwe emerged Moses Kuria with Peter Munya emerged Moses Kuria with Richard Ngatia the chairperson of Kenya Chamber of Commerce who is also a gubernatorial candidate in Nairobi also emerged and other information also emerged the information that Junet Mohamed who is a Raila Odinga's key ally is also in Dubai that Hassan Joho is also in Dubai and that Kalonzo Musyoka is also in Dubai the one for Kalonzo have not yet confirmed but i can confirm that Junet Mohamed and Joho are actually in Dubai and Raila Odinga is also in Dubai you know Raila Odinga has been out of the country he went to Ethiopia then India and Raila Odinga from the photo which Junior which Junior shared because junior is in the same shirt the same tie the same suit the same specs <laughs> taking a selfie with the bra- with the with the with the father means he probably picked the father and they are going to the same place or they, are, they they met with Moses Kuria together and maybe Relo Dinga didn't want that photo 
We didn't want to appear in that photo. But that's not the subject of this matter, of this video. In this video, I want us to look at why. <laughs> the main reason why Raila Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta are likely to meet Moses Kuria. Remember, Moses Kuria is in Dubai. And Moses Kuria is sick. He's supposed to be on medication. The event in Dubai is not being attended by every other person. So which means someone somewhere invited Moses Kuria to this event. Based on the photos taken by Peter Munya, Mutai Kagwe, Richard Gatia, these guys are in the same place. So it means that the, the meeting which President Ru Kenyatta attended, Moses Kuria also attended. And I can tell you that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. If these guys didn't want Moses Kuria at this event, rest assured that Moses Kuria would not have been anywhere near that hotel. Anywhere. Because we are talking of the President of the Republic of Kenya, we are also talking of the People's President and this magnitude of meeting. If they didn't want Moses Kuria in this meeting, Moses Kuria would have been chased. But Moses Kuria attended this event. But before we get to the details, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button, so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Give this video a thumbs up. That's the best way you can support the channel. But those who are willing to contribute 100 bob or 1 bucks, you can just click that join button and follow the process there. And by the way, you can send me a pesa if you want my pesa. <laughs> I'm giving you my WhatsApp number so that you can ask me. I can give you my pesa there. Zero seven 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 four one three two three. WhatsApp pure. Zero seven 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 four one three two three. Purely WhatsApp. So you can reach me on that. Then I can give you the pesa number <laughs> because we don't want to solicit anything here. Now, why is President Kenyatta and Raila Odinga likely to meet Moses Kuria? Five reasons. Number one, this meeting will be about the Azimio politics. You know, Moses Kuria has planned a major homecoming on Saturday in Thika. The Deputy President is currently camping in the Malaya Mount Kenya region. And in my previous video, I, I indicated that I was really waiting to, to see how he's going to move from uh, Nyeri to Kirinyaga. And I'm told the Deputy President is today in uh, Kajiado. I don't know what has happened because the DP was supposed to cover Mount Kenya the whole of this week. So these guys are in uh, Dubai. And they are going to meet Moses Kuria to negotiate a deal in Azimio. So if Moses Kuria is going to join Azimio, is he going to join Azimio as Moses Kuria? Is he going to join Azimio as a co-principal? Is he going to join Azimio as the representative of the president? And in what capacity? And what would be the fate of Moses Kuria's party versus Jubilee which is being revamped by President Rukinyata? So in my view, these guys are going to discuss and negotiate with Moses Kuria. Because President Ruk Kenyatta is well aware that Moses Kuria will play a key role in dismantling William Ruto's presence in the Legend of Kenya region. In one of my videos previously, you can check it, I stated that Moses Kuria is the only guy who will save President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta from being humiliated by the deputy president. Sometimes I promise to, to put the links and I forget. I'm, I'm hoping, in fact, in the comments, if I don't put that link, please just remind me, I'm going to put the link to that video um, because I normally read the comments. So if I forget from the comments, just remind me you've not included the link to that video of Moses Kuria shaming, I mean Moses Kuria saving Uhuru Kenyatta from being shamed by the DP. So they're negotiating. And that's why he was invited. That's number one. 
Number two, I think it also has everything to do with Moses Korea's homecoming. According to information available, Moses Korea will have homecoming. And this homecoming, he has invited Ruto. And yesterday, William Ruto's team actually shared his program for the week. And the Thika Stadium was one of them. And Moses Kuri has invited Ruto, he has invited Raila, Kalonzo, and the rest. The truth of the matter is that if Moses Kuria were to go ahead with that homecoming and William Ruto to attend, Raila Odinga to attend, chances of William Ruto running away with a crowd are high. So I think these guys are meeting with Moses Kuria to cancel that homecoming. Or if you want to cancel it, then he should not invite the deputy president to that event, that meeting. And if he were to, start to invite the DP, probably he must come up with clear rules of engagement. But I tend to think that chances of this homecoming being cancelled after this event, after this meeting today, are so high. And if it won't be cancelled, then probably President Uru Muge Kenyatta himself is likely to grace it. Moses Kuria is the member of parliament for Gatundu South, which means he's the one, the guy representing President Ruki Nyata in parliament. I doubt if the president can make for him a request to cancel the event, and then he won't do that. So let us monitor very closely the event on Saturday. It is likely to be either cancelled or postponed. Number three, also think that this Dubai meeting is not a coincidence. Probably President Ruki Nyata and Raila Odinga are planning a strategy meeting with their team. Apart from Joho, apart from uh, Dunet, from Raila's side, from President Kenyatta's side, I don't know the other person. But I want to assume that his key team are likely to be in Dubai. So at night today, these guys are going to meet. And they're going to strategize. And the strategy is just one. How to defeat William Ruto in 2022. Basically in August this year. How to bring Moses Korea on board if this meeting is not going to be about Moses Korea. So it's going to be a strategy meeting. And if you follow the Twitter, Junet Mohammed indicated that Tononoka Tunakuja so probably Raila Odinga will, will, will come from Dubai and they are going to organize a meeting or a rally in Tononoka. So that's something which is now clear. And I'm trying to assume that probably President Ruki Nyata will make a public appearance in Tononoka. <laughs> the first public appearance alongside Raila Odinga in Tononoka. Let us wait and see how the events are going to unfold. Number four is Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. The power, power sharing deal. How are they going to share power with Kalonzo Musyoka? How are they going to bring Kalonzo Musyoka on board? I've read that Kalonzo Musyoka is also in Dubai. Not yet confirmed. But if Kalonzo Musyoka is in Dubai, then rest assured that what these guys are doing is to seal power sharing deal. And that's why Ahmed Nasir is very bitter on Twitter over President Ruki Nyata, Raila Odinga, and others being in Dubai. Because according to him, that meeting is purely about power sharing. It's, it's about BBI and the Supreme, Supreme Court ruling. So, if Kalonzo will be in that meeting, or if Kalonzo is in Dubai, rest assured that by the time Kalonzo will be here, he'll be singing Azimio songs. And lastly, the president and the team I've seen there, Peter Munya, Mutai Kagwe, Richard Ngatia, and the rest, that these guys are going to meet Moses Korea on how to lock William Ruto out of Mount Kenya. William Ruto had planned to be in Mount Kenya for one week. <laughs> and today he was supposed to be in Kerenyaga. He's not there. Why is he not there? Is the ground slippery? Or are they waiting for the president to make the move? Then they can react to that move. So in my view, 
President Ruto Kenyatta's main objective of meeting Moses Kuria is basically on how he can number one either stop Moses Kuria from joining Ruto, number two asking Moses Kuria to join Azimio, or just to encourage Moses Kuria to push on as an independent person. The ultimate aim is definitely to block William or to lock William Ruto out of the larger Mount Kenya region. I don't know what to think. For me, that's politics. And it's a good politics. Let us enjoy the game. Bye-bye.